I've been waiting for this project for so long. J Huss has just released his third studio album and it's definitely my favourite of all of his works. As always, there is some really impressive production on there, so of course today I'm going to be trying to make beats in the style of A Beautiful and Brutal Yard by J Huss. I've had a chance to listen to a bit more of the album. I think for the second beat, I'm gonna go for something similar to, I think it's track six with Georgia Smith. Like a very anthemic guitar drill beat, and I think it's probably my favorite track on the album. So I'm gonna see if I can find a guitar sample real quick. Some of these are pretty good. Okay. All right, we found it, that's the one. First thing I'm gonna do is decrease the pitch so it sounds more similar to the reference track. First thing I'm gonna do before I add anything else is add a couple of effects because there's a lot of low frequencies that I don't really want, so. Alright, that should be good for the effects, so I'm just going to start adding some other melodic elements. Yeah, I can use that. I think now I want something similar to like a lead. I'm getting somewhere, I'm getting somewhere. All right, to fill the sample out a bit more, I'm going to use an accent from Synth Diaries by Prod by Lona. I've noticed in some parts of the track, there's like a R&B glide pad or something like that. I'm going to add that. What pad do I use? Uh... best at programming like orchestral melodies but I'll give it a good go. Alright, now we have all the melodic elements, I'm just going to mix them up and we can start on the drums. Thank you. 
Alright, finally, I'm gonna add a bass line. So open. I feel like I could probably add an acapella to this. Why not? I might as well give it a go. I think I'm gonna add a bass guitar to this as well, just for the introduction. thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some orchestral elements to the track. Alright, so I've laid a bunch of drum fills, a bunch of effects samples, and this is what it sounds like with the opening of the beat. Okay. I may need a bit of tweaking to go with the acapella, but it should be fine. I think I'm gonna go for an afro beat first. So I'm gonna set the BPM to roughly 110. Probably the most important thing to do for me when I start is to establish a drum bounce. I almost never go for melody first. I don't know why, it's just how I'm built. I want a continuous percussive element. I'm in the Cuba contact library and I'm using the cajon instrument and I'm just gonna see what I can come up with, so. And that's just gonna go on in the background. And now I'm gonna add a kick. Now I'm gonna add a rim shot. Probably gonna layer them because a lot of the rim shots aren't heavy enough for me, so.
Now I want to start adding some metal percussion, so I'm going to add a triangle. I'm worried this is going to be too aggressive, but I'm going to try and add it anyway. I'm thinking a bass guitar because I think that's what's used in the reference, and it's pretty common in Afro swing beats or Afro beats in general. Now I'm just going to clone the bass guitar and I'm going to make one articulation of staccato and the other one sustained. I'm not gonna lie, I am not very good at coming up with Afro swing melodies. But I think what I'm gonna do first is add a couple vocal chops. Maybe this one. Okay, I'm kind of addicted to vocal chops, but one more and I promise I'll stop. For this beat, I'm feeling a guitar melody, so I'm going to use the picked nylon, just using the modern space preset. I'm gonna add a really simple counter melody to this just to keep it interesting. Now I'm gonna add an electric guitar for some stabs. I don't know what electric guitar to use though. Mm, I'm gonna go with the palm tree electric mint guitar. Alright, I'm liking the sound of this so far. All the elements mixed, so I'm just gonna arrange the beat and we can see what it sounds like.
Alright, the beat's done. I don't know how I feel about that one. I quite like the beat. I think it fits the style that I was going for. I'm gonna end it there because it's like 30 degrees and for whatever reason I'm wearing a hoodie, so I'm dying. But yeah, hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the beat and see what I could do better for next time. Thank you.